Hello, I'm MC2 and welcome to my channel. Um, so recently, someone sent me this $250,000 challenge from a flat earther in Turkey. You've, you've just got to see this. Selam millet, ben Dorkan Özkan. Şu anda Düz Dünya Derneği'ndeyiz. Yeni bir etkinlikle karşınızdayım arkadaşlar. Bu sefer ödül tam tamına iki katı oluyor. Dolarlar hala bizde arkadaşlar. Kendine bilim adamı diyenler, kendini profesör sananlar karşımıza çıkamıyor bir türlü. Dolarlar hala elimizde. Ayrıca bu sefer külçe altını iki kiloya çıkartıyoruz arkadaşlar. O bir meydan. Aynı şekilde bu sefer de iki tane külçe altın ortaya koyuyorum arkadaşlar. Şimdi ise farklı bir şey istiyoruz. Belki bunu bulabilirsiniz diye. Dünyanın tamamının, dünyanın tamamının tek bir fotoğraf karesinde döndüğünü gösteren bir video kaydı için arkadaşlar. Bu elimde görmüş olduğunuz iki külçe altın, saf altın burada da Dolarlar var arkadaşlar. Toplamda 2 milyon Türk lirasına yakın bir ödül. Bir video karşılığında sizin olacak. Daha önce de birçok kez söyledim. Kendine bilim adamı diyenler, kendini profesör sananlar. Hepinizi bekliyorum. Kaç kere hodri meydan dedim ama hiçbiriniz karşıma çıkamıyorsunuz. Tüm adresim belli. Tüm iletişim bilgilerim belli. Hepinizi karşıma bekliyorum. Hepinizi diyorum ama bir taneniz bile gelemiyor. Her şey hazır arkadaşlar. Sadece istediğim videoyu elime ulaştırmanız yeterli. Görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın. Now, I don't speak Turkish, but I did use Google Translate to confirm that it does seem like the subtitles match what he's saying. So, I'll probably be mispronouncing his name, but I'll I think it's Dukan. So, good news, Dukan. I have exactly what you want. First, let's review the exact details of your challenge. For a real video record, and I think he means recording, so for a real video recording showing the whole earth spinning in the frame, folks. Well, that's it. Very clear and specific. The whole earth spinning in the frame. Way easy to understand, understand, isn't it? So there are many geostationary satellites that can do something kind of like this, like the Himawari 8. But since that satellite, geostationary satellites, are above the same point of the Earth, the satellite rotates with the Earth and you don't actually see the Earth spinning. So we need to see the Earth spinning. There's a couple choices for this. I'll start with this one from 1990 when the Galileo spacecraft was 1.3 million miles away during its gravity assist around the Earth on its way to Jupiter. This video compresses 25 hours of Earth's rotation into 22 seconds. So I have a link to the original source data in the description. So that video is quite amazing and totally satisfies the challenge already. 22 seconds, done. But I like to go above and beyond expectations. So the Epic Discover satellite is just under 1 million miles away from Earth and it sits in Lagrange point one. Look that up if you're curious. It's between the Earth and the Sun. So this allows the satellite to see the illuminated part of the Earth all the time. It's the perfect view to satisfy Dokin's request. So this 10 hour video recorded in 2019, early 2019, shows the Earth rotating seven and a half times in 10 hours. Yeah, that's 18 times faster than the Earth actually spins. So it may appear to be just a photo, but I assure you, this is a video. Maybe it's best if I speed it up a bit more. <laughs>
Dugan, a real video showing a recording uh, view of the Earth spinning in the frame, just as you ask. In fact, two of them. So I put the link to the Discover website in the description. Anyone is welcome to examine every single still frame from the video. It's also linked. Uh, I also link the 10 hour video showing the Earth spinning in the frame over 10 hours, seven and a half rotations of it. So anyway, so now flat earthers often change the rules after issuing a challenge, uh, you know, after it's been successfully answered. So I'm sure Dukin would not do such a thing. He said he wants a real video showing the whole earth spinning in the frame. And that's what I delivered twice. There are some common claims flat earthers make when presented with a video or photos of the earth from space. The most common is asking why aren't any uh, stars visible? Well, people that know about photography don't ask this question because they know stars are not bright. The earth is bright. A camera is only able to capture a certain range of brightness in one frame. The stars are way too dim to be visible when the earth is properly exposed. If the exposure were set to capture the stars, the earth would be completely overblown. So you can't get both at the same time with a normal camera. Uh, normal picture or normal video. So anybody wanting more information on camera exposure, I recommend the book Understanding Exposure by Brian Peterson. After reading this book, you will know that any photo of Earth from space that includes stars is probably fraudulent. This is not a paid advertisement. I just really love that book. So another claim is, is uh, that the photo or video is computer generated or CGI and therefore not real. So since I have provided the link to the original data, there they are 2048 by 2048 pictures, each one of them, a 2048 uh, square photograph of the earth from space. The source data um, uh, is that, and any claims of CGI certainly will be accompanied by detailed forensic analysis. Anyone claiming CGI without forensic analysis would simply be lying. Flat earthers wouldn't want to be known as liars, right, Dukin? So should Dukin have any other issues with this amazing video of the earth spinning, in, uh, <clears throat> absolutely that absolutely must include supporting evidence to support his claims, right? Uh, I'm sure he wouldn't want to appear unethical. So there you go, Dukin. I'm happy to be the winner of your $250,000 challenge. If you want to send the money by PayPal, send it to mctune.pp at mctune.net. That's for PayPal. Uh, the, that's in the description. If you'd like to hand deliver the cash and gold, let me know. Uh, you can pop by Minneapolis. Well, let's meet at a restaurant downtown somewhere, right? Send me an email for that. And But, you know, I understand you may be a bit busy to stop by. In that case, send me an email. I'll get you my address. You can ship me my winnings. So, awesome. Hey, if you're wondering what I will be doing with the winnings that I'll be getting here, um, as usual, I'll donate a large amount to the charity World Vision. I really love what they do. Then maybe I'll book a flight on Virgin Galactic to go to space. Or maybe I'll just build the largest ball pit on the globe. <laughs> that looks fun. Uh, if you'd like to see what I do with the winnings, be sure to subscribe. Any ideas for what to do, put them in the comments. So thanks a lot. Uh, we'll see you next time.